Hey everybody, Vicarious Viking here. Welcome back to another episode of Starbound Mod Outpost. We are joined here with Hopper Mod Paws. He's this cool little kangaroo guy I have. If you're curious about this guy, it's a race mod, and I did cover him in my first video, so I'll leave an annotation for that on screen. Uh, another thing I should mention is uh, Starbound Mod Outpost is the name that I have settled on. In my first episode, I just called it Starbound Mod Showcase. I did ask you guys to give me suggestions for uh, what would make a good name for a Starbound Mod Show. And, uh, well, nobody gave me any. Well, which is fine, um, because I came up with this one all by myself, and I'm happy with it. So we're going to be looking at a few weapon mods today. So the first mod on the list that we're going to be having a look at is Mass Effect Weapons by Nathiesk. And as you can guess, it adds weapons from the Mass Effect series to the game. You can craft them from any crafting table. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my crafting table. I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom, because that's where the weapons are. And here they are here. There's... There is nine of them, and you'll see some of them. This one t costs uh, 15 Impervium bars. Some of them cost Volume bars, and some of them cost Durasteel. And those represent the three different weapon tiers. The ones that cost Durasteel are Tier 1. Uh, they do the least damage um, of between 100 and 160. And then there's ones that take imp vol excuse me, Violium bars, uh, and they do about 1,000 to, to 1,300. And then the, the Impervium bar ones, do quite a bit more. They do like 4,000 and up, so they get pretty darn powerful. Um, I actually have all of them crafted. You can see them up here at the top in my inventory, uh, with the exception of which one do I not have? It is uh, the Geth Pulse Rifle, so I'm going to go ahead and craft that now, and we are going to jump on down to the planet and test these out. Here we go. All right, here we are down on Delta Draconis 0302. Let's, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and fly over here. Oh, okay, there's some things to kill. Oh, I like that, the sound that it makes is pretty cool. 23 damage a piece, that's not bad either. So this is the first gun, uh, the first pistol. I kind of arranged them here in order of, um, of how much damage they do. This one does 120. Uh, let's go on to the, uh, oh, sorry, this one does 100. We're gonna go to the M92 Mantis and kill this guy. 119, that's pretty significant too. So they're pretty powerful guns, and they're only gonna get more powerful. Okay, let's go to number four. If you're wondering about this crazy um, tech that I have, it's from a totally different mod. It's called the Skip Mod, and it's really, really good for just, uh, well, cheating cheating your butt off. But uh, the reason I got it is just so I can showcase mods quite a lot easier. So here we are, we're having a look at gun number three, the M8 Avenger. This one does 160, I think, and I just totally shredded that guy to bits. Uh, yeah, uh, rate of fire 10, damage per shot 16, energy per shot 1, so that's pretty low energy cost. Let's get up the Flanix and uh, kill some guys with that. Okay, wow. Yeah, we're definitely going to be one-shotting everything uh, from now on. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to beam back to my ship. I'm in the Delta Sector. I'm going to move it up to the, the next sector, which I haven't even been to yet. It's the... Um, the X sector? Yeah, so we're just going to go to a random spot here in the X sector. Um, where do I want to go? Oh, wow, threat level 9. Threat level. Let's go to a threat level 7 for these ones, and then we'll go to a threat level 9 for the ones that take the impervium bars. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, here we go. I'm obviously going to do a cut here, so don't worry. All right, guys, so here we are in the X sector, and we're going to beam on down to this planet, which is very Earth-like looking, right now. The gun that we are on currently is the uh, M5... Uh, Flanix, and you can see the stats for it right there. Uh, whoa, look at these skull turtle things. Let's kill one. Wow. Okay, that's powerful. Let's uh, let's kill some more. Okay, this one's not quite as powerful, but it does shoot quite a lot faster. Um, that one, by the way, is the Geth Pulse Rifle, which is, that's, you can see the stats there. Wow. That's powerful. Okay, let's uh, oh wow, there's a lot of enemies. This is doing 475 damage a shot, this one. Well, let's get the heck... Oh, I've ran out of energy. This is the M97 Viper. It has a DPF, so 1538. And uh, you can just see the other stats there on screen for it. Kablamo. All right. And these, the last three, is the M6 Current Effects, which does 3067. So let's try it out. I was going to go to a higher threat level, but we'll probably just one-shot everything anyway. 691, 211. That guy, was. that's exactly how much health he had, obviously. 554. Everything is just completely getting obliterated. Uh, maybe I should have went to a different planet, 
but um, I think the threat level only goes up to 10 anyway, and this is fine for a brief overview. Okay, wow. That one does like... This one does uh, less damage per shot, I think? Yeah, 420, but it does uh, more shots per second. Yeah, exactly. And this gun here is the M98 Widow. This is the last gun. Oh, cool tentacles. Uh, and I actually can't even shoot it. I would love to show it to you, but unfortunately it requires 240 energy per shot. And I have how much energy? Like 100 or something. I should be wearing my helmet, but that's not, that's only gonna bring it up to 130. Still can't fire the gun, unfortunately. Uh, I'm sure it's great. Um, so there you have it, guys. I mean, if you wanna check out this last gun, you're gonna have to download the mod. Once again, that was Mass Effect Weapons by Nathiesk. A great mod for fans of the Mass Effect series or who just want some cool sci-fi guns in their game. And let's move on. Next mod! Alright, so the next mod we're having a look at is the Doom Weapons mod by Atto Apostrophe90, which of course adds the weapons from the classic games Doom and Doom 2 for use in Starbound. Uh, it doesn't add the chainsaw, unfortunately. Uh, hopefully that comes sometime in the future. So with this mod, you just open up your crafting menu and then all of the weapons appear right here in your basic crafting menu. Um, and they all just cost one pixel each. So I'm just gonna go ahead and craft every single one of them right now. You can see the uh, DPS, rate of fire, damage per shot, and energy per shot here as I go down the list. They range anywhere from um, about 16 all the way up to 174 this plasma gun here is the most actually it's got a high rate of fire um, Decent damage per shot. I'm gonna craft the pistol the chain gun and the BFG 9000 Okay, and uh, we're just gonna test these bad boys out. We're on a threat level uh, four planet So we're just gonna kind of see how they fare here right here. This is just the regular old shotgun Let's see if we can't shoot this uh, what the fuck? Hey, I'm back everybody. Sorry about that. That was entirely my fault. Uh, I installed the mod wrong, but uh, I'm back and I do have it working now. So let's give these weapons a shot. This is the super shotgun. This is the two-handed shotgun. I'm gonna blast this guy in the face. Couple, ooh. Ooh, ooh, that one did 66. All right, cool. Oh, get away from me, buddy. You're going down. Um, it shoots uh, pretty slow. But I guess that's to be expected. I'd like to kill something with it. One of these guys have got to die. Uh, it's got the the doom sound, which is cool. It's got that that doom uh, that shotgun blast. He ripped the uh, ripped the sounds right out of the game, which is probably you know not something you're supposed to do. But you know it gives it that extra sense of authenticity. Uh, this I've changed it to just the regular shotgun. So here's that. Uh, it doesn't shoot. It doesn't fire quite as many projectiles, but that obviously is to be expected and let's change it to uh this one here this is a rocket launcher so let's uh let's get our distance and shoot these guys couple ammo this is about 31. it's got the the explosion graphic looks uh very much like the doom explosion in fact i'm sure that it is this one also has the original sounds which is very cool uh let's switch to number five uh one thing about this mod this is the plasma gun yeah this is a plasma gun is it um the sprites for the guns actually are from the Doom game themselves, just slightly modified to fit into Starbound. So it is a uh, kind of, uh, I, I think that's really cool because it gives it just that extra bit of like authentic sort of Doom feeling. I'm just trying to find another enemy here. I played a lot of Doom when I was a kid. So this is a, this is a really cool mod for me. I didn't play much Mass Effect actually. Uh, I didn't really play it at all to be honest. Wow, I can't find any enemies. I want to shoot something with this plasma rifle. Today would be nice. What a planet. What a... Boy. Oh, I found something. Let's kill this thing. Okay, wow. So that thing is, like, awesome. This one does, uh, yeah, 174 damage per second. This is the most powerful gun, so... And as you can see, it, it goes through the... Whoa. It goes through the energy pretty quickly, but it packs a wall up. All right, next gun. Uh, it's just the regular old Doom pistol here. Nothing special to it. Uh, only six damage per hit. It's gonna take me an eternity to kill this bird. In fact, this bird might actually kill me. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna not use this gun. Oh, he's flying away. Here, here's what's gonna happen. Die, bird! Oh, shoot. One second, I will fix that. Sorry about that. Uh, let me just get that line back up. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. So, uh, I believe we only have the one gun left. Oh, no, we have two guns left. We have the, uh... 
This is the, I gotta stand still to look at it. This is the chain gun, 62 damage per second, 7.69 rate of fire, damage per shot eight and energy per shot two. All right, let's see how this goes. Let's uh, go try to find an enemy. Uh, oh no, no, don't die. Oh, okay, right on. This is a, this is a very nice machine gun. This is, oh, I'm gonna fall to my doom. No, I have survived. Cool. Let's kill these things. I shouldn't have done that, actually. So, it's obviously not as good as the plasma rifle. Oh shit, I gotta get out of here. I'm so low on health. I need to eat bandages, but uh, I don't feel like getting them up in my inventory. I'm just gonna switch to the BFG. Oh, I missed entirely. Let's try that again. Oh wow. Oh no! Oh, I'm gonna die! Jeez, I keep missing. It's not the best. Wow, there's a, oh man, there's so many creatures now. A second ago, I couldn't find any for the life of me, and now there's like a ridiculous amount. So as you can see, this weapon does crazy damage. It, I actually, it's a little bit odd. I have to hold the button in, in order for it to shoot, like for like a good second. Oh, that was a good hit. Wow, it's got great range on it too. Um, it does, however, use up quite a lot of energy. It uses 53 energy, which is like just under half of my energy. I have about 130 because of my helmet. Let's kill another thing. Kablamo. Uh, I believe it also melted something down here. If I'm not mistaken, that is what just happened. So there you have it, folks. That is Doom Mod by, uh, what was his name again? Atto apostrophe 90. And uh, yeah, that's it. I think it's a great little mod. Once again, I would love to see um, the chainsaw added in at some point. That would make it pretty much perfect. One more thing I'd like to mention is that currently uh, it only costs one pixel as you saw to craft all of these and I'd like to see an update where they had uh, just reasonable crafting um, costs for uh, how powerful the guns are. That would be perfect. Um, I should mention that I'm running version 1.0 of this mod. There is a version uh, 1.1 and that makes it so that the plasma rifle I believe in the BFG um, create light, their projectiles, when they fire. Uh, I couldn't get that one to work though, so uh, I had to stick with this one. Wow, okay, yeah, I killed that bird in the sky and it killed this thing on the ground. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this mod. I'm gonna go jump on to the next one. And we are back. The next mod that we're gonna be taking a look at is the Halo Weapons mod by Meg McClaw, which not surprisingly adds weapons from the Halo universe into Starbound. So we're gonna check them out right now. We're gonna press C, that's gonna bring up our crafting menu and you're gonna see this thing called Weapon Database. We're just gonna click on Craft. So what that did was it just made this weapon crate here available for crafting and this is gonna contain all of our wonderful, wonderful weapons. I'm going to craft that. It has been crafted. I'm going to beam down to the planet and then I'm gonna crack this sucker open. Let's set it down right here. And uh, awesome. Oh, we gotta buy them though. There is a pixel cost associated with them. Not much, actually. It looks like uh, only a hundred to, uh, and some of them only cost one. There is a, uh, wow, there's like 10 guns in here. Okay, I'm gonna craft them all. Okay, so I went ahead and crafted all of the guns and I arranged them from uh, least damage per second to the highest. There's nine guns in total. And I went to a different planet as well. We're at a threat level eight planet now, as you can see here. So we're gonna beam on down to the planet and we are gonna shoot some aliens with this halo weaponry and it will be glorious i'm quite sure um oh i might also actually just kind of die right away i'm not smart i don't really have that good of armor let's uh oh wow it's doing some damage so this is the uh this is the, the plasma rifle its dps is 500 it does uh, sing if it could leave me alone there you go its dps is 500 its rate of fire is five it's got 100 damage per shot and it uses 10 energy per shot Apparently things are going to one hit me on this planet. That's fine though. Let's let's hop on down. Let's just I'll just be real careful not to get hit. So anyway, that's that one. Let's switch to the next one. This one has the exact same stats, but it's called the plasma destroyer rifle. Um the only difference is it shoots uh oh, never mind. The difference is it destroys terrain. That's really cool. Oh, that's that's fantastic. Let's uh let's kill some stuff with it. Oh, right on. Oh, get away from me. Oh, shit okay so a threat level eight maybe a little bit too high um for my current armor but that's fine so that was a that was a really cool 
That's a really cool gun. The muzzle flash is blue, but that's fine. Um, let's go on to the next weapon. This is the uh, the plasma pistol. All right. Uh, oh, I guess I got the bird. Wow, uh, it does a fair amount of damage. There we go. That's cool. It's got a really slow uh, fire rate. I'm holding the button in, and that's how. Oh, uh, actually, that might be because my uh, energy needs to recharge. Let's uh, let's give it a second here to recharge. Okay, so there you go. That's that's about how fast it shoots right there. All right, next up we got the battle rifle. These look really good, by the way. I have to say, uh, the battle rifle does 567 damage per second, and uh, let's uh, oh, let's so many enemies. Okay, here we go. Get our distance and unload. Oh shit! This is not the best planet. I should be on like a threat level six planet. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna relocate. I'm back. I just tried a threat level 6 planet, and I was still getting one-shotted, so here we are in a threat level 5. Hopefully this one won't be so bad. Let's uh, let's try to find something to shoot. I still got the battle rifle here. Uh, this one isn't going to be any good either, because uh, I'm going to freeze to death. That's what's going to happen on this planet. Also, I can't seem to find any... Oh, there's a bunch of enemies. Never mind. Alright, let's take some guys out. Okay, there we go. Things are dying now. Uh, unfortunately, I am also dying, so, uh, goodbye! Alright, time to find another planet. Okay, here we are on a threat level 5 planet that will hopefully not freeze us to death. Um, I'm gonna be trying out the pistol now, this is a DPS of 750. Here we go! I'd like to find some enemies quickly. Uh, there's something in this cave, let's, let's shoot at them. Uh, okay, wow. The difference between threat level 5 and 6 seems fairly substantial. Kaboom. Okay, cool. Alright, now we got the Needler. Does it home? No. It would be really cool if it had, uh, in the Halo games, the Needler, the Needle, needle Rifle uh, has homing shots. Uh, and once they get lodged into the target, they then explode and do additional damage. It's a great gun. Wow. That's a colorful, that was a colorful tree. Uh, unfortunately, no exploding, but uh, still, it's very cool. Very cool nonetheless. Let's uh, try out the next gun. This is going to be the assault rifle. One thing that I haven't mentioned yet is the sound effects for the gunshots are straight out of um, straight out of the Halo game. These sounds were ripped from the game as well. Uh, we have two guns left, and it is this gun here, which is a needle rifle. has a DPS of 2,500. <gasps> I don't... Okay, I thought that energy per shot was 250, but it's not. And then we have a modified version of the needle rifle, which... Uh, and we'll see what the differences are here between the two of them. As soon as I find some enemies. Oh, there's one there. Um, you there. Come at me. Come on up. You can do it. Okay. Uh, does about 202 damage. Unless that's like, it's his max health. There is a crate there that I'm not too interested in. I'd like to find a few more things to kill. There we go. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. Well, that makes pretty short work of him. And the last weapon on the list is this one, which uh, is... Oh, shoot. Pretty much, oh, double shoot. Oh no, no you don't, no. Uh, this must take up a lot of, I'm gonna have to hide and wait for my energy to come back here. What is this, uh, this is also 25 energy per shot. I don't know if you noticed, but uh, when you shoot, the bullets kind of break off into three bullets. Like so, see? So, uh, really cool, really cool gun. And that is uh, that is all of them. That is gonna do it for, um, for this mod here, I would. I, what I really like about this mod is how it adds the um, the Halo crate that all the guns come in, and uh, and you gotta kind of craft them from there. That way, it doesn't clutter up your. Um, oh, I gotta get away from this thing. It doesn't clutter up your inventory. Your oh geez, another monster. Sorry, not your inventory. It doesn't clutter up your uh, basic crafting station with uh, see all my Doom guns are still in here. It would be really cool if the other mods uh, kept their guns into a separate. Um, like its own individual crafting table uh, for the mod. I really, I really think that's a nice touch. All right, one and all, that's gonna wrap it up. I wanna thank you all for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, make sure to give it a like and uh, go ahead and leave me a comment in the comments down below as well. Also, um, you can consider subscribing to get more Starbound Mod Outpost videos. I'm gonna be doing these weekly at least. I'd love to get in a couple of weeks, but we're gonna have to see how things go. So that does it, guys. Thanks for watching. This is me and Hopper Mob Paws signing off. See you later. Oh, yeah, links are in the description.
weapon database from the Halo program. We're just going to click on craft, and that gives us new blueprints available. Um, which should, I haven't actually, I didn't do this off camera. I really should have done this off camera. Oh. Uh. Oh, oh, it gives us this reinforced tech bent block. Wait. No. No, no, it doesn't. No, I don't think that's what it does. Huh. Oh, I am very stupid. Crap. I didn't, I have to use it, don't I? It's a weapon crate. A crate full of, oh, shit. Oh, I, I, oh, I, oh that was stupid of me.